Today's video is a bit of a heads up for uh, Reaper users. What I've found over the last few weeks is that I've probably run into a bug with the uh, Reaper. I was halfway uh, through uh, mixing a four song EP when I discovered uh, the problem that I've uh, run across. For some reason, when uh, getting towards the end of a mix, there's this uh, phantom noise gate uh, suddenly appearing. And it only happens with the Slate Digital uh, plugins. And it only happens in Reaper. What basically happens is uh, on any uh, sound that has a fade out or a, or a long tail, it's like a noise gate that uh, starts uh, grabbing the signal and uh, ruining the tail of the signal. To demonstrate here, I've uh, got some uh, symbols or overhead tracks. You can hear how it sounds with the um, Slate plugins bypassed. Nothing wrong there, sounds uh, great. But as soon as I engaged the Slate plugins again, and I turned uh, any noise reduction off, this mysterious noise gate uh, behavior uh, appears again. That's not right. And with this thing is it. If I uh, bypass all of the modules within the virtual mix rack, it still happens. Same thing with the tape machine. Set the noise reduction to zero. His audio mute off. It's still there. And after digging a bit uh, further, I found that uh, this happens with every Slate uh, plugin. But I don't have that issue in other DAWs. The result of this was I had to start remixing uh, the whole EP in uh, Samplitude, which was my main uh, DAW before I switched to Reaper. And at the moment I can't use Reaper for uh, serious mixing, which is a shame, because uh, I love a lot of the features in Reaper. Luckily I um, discovered this uh, after putting on a set of headphones Fortunately, I uh, discovered this before I sent it off to mastering or uh, any post uh, work. What's causing this, I have no idea whatsoever. And um, if you are using a lot of uh, Slate plugins, do be aware this might happen uh, for you as well. I've been able to reproduce this with uh, two different versions of Reaper. Both uh, 5973 and the latest one which is a uh, 5978 and since this problem doesn't appear in other DAWs I'm quite sure that this is a problem somewhere with the with the Reaper itself hopefully someone will find out uh, a cure for this uh, problem and then maybe I can uh, start using Reaper again until then uh, that just isn't uh, doable and here's a really weird one if I bypass using the plugin interface, it's still there. I have no idea what's going on. Anyways, that's my little uh, heads up and uh, mini rant for uh, for today. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll be back with some new videos over the weekend.